try that. I went to a place called Gail's Bakery, which our manager has been telling us to go to for yeah, she's obsessed. months now. That's like it's all over your melted teeth. chocolate. It's all over your teeth. Good morning, how you doing? I just got back from the gym and on the way back from the gym, went to the post office and picked up some mail that we missed yesterday. Got myself a little latte and Zoe a hot chocolate. You see, the thing is with Brighton where we live, we are very, very lucky that we have lots of incredible restaurants and um, let me balance you on this, on this pair of scissors. We're super lucky that there's a lot of small independent coffee shops, restaurants, cafes, whatever you like to call them. So we're a bit spoilt for choice when it comes to that kind of thing. But we've been told that this place is called Gales here. It's a chain, there are Gales in London, I'm not really sure if there's any. What are you doing? Oh, you oh, do you need the scissors? You can take them. No, it's okay. I'm balancing my camera on a pair of scissors. Um, so I went there today, I was like, okay, I'll go check it out. I was not ready. It was insane. Like, absolutely incredible. I got myself a little lemonade plus. I don't know what that is. I just went in. There was too much good stuff. I got myself... Oh, no, you're popping the... Zoe's popping all the balloons that you guys don't know what they're for still. Uh, I got myself some mixed seeds, blueberries and passion fruit. I got myself a quinoa raw root vegetables and avocado with tahini dressing, which is vegan, apparently. And then I just kind of went in. Like, the, the section that had, like, baked goods kind of thing. Zoe, come and look at these. Oh, I want to get a plate. Let me get a dish. How's it going? <laughs> oh my god, my god! <laughs> this is meant to be bad for you, so don't try this at home. I remember sometimes... How's it bad for you? Oh my god. Oh my god, imagine if I did Where's the hole in this one? Oh, I feel quite lightheaded. <laughs> oh my god. It's just going to stay with you forever. Oh, okay, it's gone back, kind of. You made the hole big enough I to know. hold it like that big. I like... know. It tastes disgusting. <laughs> it tastes really, really... <laughs> it's because my... Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt your throat? Let me do a little haul video. A Gail's Bakery haul. I wish I bought everything. I want to go back there for lunch. I'll take a picture of the menu. Look... For lunch today? Yeah, I've got a meeting. <laughs> I've got a meeting. In 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, I thought it was in 15 minutes. I was like, I'm never going to make it there. No, it's that. It's only quarter past ten, Alf. But why is the... Our clock's broken. Is it? Yeah, go look at it. So it's quarter past ten. But the hour hand is right near the 11. It's quarter past 11. No, it's not. Yeah, it's 11.30. <gasps> it's quarter past 11. Yeah. Oh. Alfie, go, go and get ready. 17 minutes. Go and get ready. No, it's not. Alfie, put the Gale things Gale's down. Gale's all really quick. I don't even have time to eat it. Don't know what that is. Just oh, look. wow. Incredible. Looks like smoked salmon, cream cheese, and chocolate. Pan of chocolate. Another little. Don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out. Oh, look at that. Wow. Avocado, egg, and tomato. I mean. I only touched it a <laughs> tiny bit. And. They're so cute. That. So that's our selection, and then I got these two as well for us. Okay, great. One minute. You didn't want that on there, did you? I mean. Oh my god, you are vile. You I just licked avocado off my pan of chocolate. Yeah, the av avocado tastes good. <laughs> I've got to go to a meeting. I okay, then go. Yeah, oh, this looks lovely. I've got the address on my phone, but I don't even know how far away it is. Out of any meeting that I could ever be late for, this is not the one that I want to be late for. This is like, this meeting is so important to me. Working with charities and stuff is something that I do a lot in my own personal time and I do it off of camera. I've just always chosen to do it that way and I donate money and I go and meet up with charities and stuff like that, but all just as Alfie Day is not as the YouTube app, Alfie Day's Pointless Blog, whatever. Pointless Blog, whatever, you, you know what I mean. But recently, my PA went to go and meet with um, a charity called the Martlets Charity and they're based not too far away from me in Brighton or in Hove. 
you'll see today when we get there what they do and hopefully some of the members of staff are going to be okay to be on camera and they can explain what they do why they do it how it's going and anything that they might need help with i feel like i've got so many connections to different companies to different people with a lot of power um, from doing this youtube thing that i do that it's somebody like the martlets that could really need something specific that I've got a connection to and I could just make happen. Welcome to the Martlets. So I'm actually filming this clip on the following day. I just, I wanted, I did film, I did film at the hospice, but there were so many people going in and out that may not want to be on camera who are there, either visiting somebody there, going there themselves, a member of staff who works at the hospice, the area where I sat for a good chunk of the time whilst I was there, talking about what they do, the work they do, how they do it, why they do it, which kind of people they help, how they help. It was in quite a communal area. It was in the cafe area of the hospice. So there was a lot of people walking in and out and I was very, very aware when I was filming that I wasn't gonna be able to use a lot of the footage because not everybody wants to be on camera and that is perfectly fine. So I did film tiny little clips. Rather than saying, are you okay? Because we have this huge, huge ability. If somebody says, how are you doing? Oh, great, I'm fine. You know, how often do you say to someone, how are you? But do you really mean it? Mm. Or is that just like saying hello? It's another way of saying hello. Mm. If you really say to somebody, how are you? But really mean that, that's what we do here. Mm. We really want to know if somebody's okay. Mm. It's it's a really nice place, actually. It is. Come, I'll, come on, I'll, have it. I'll wander around with you. Both the women there were lovely enough to take some time out to come and chat with me and tell me about all the things they're doing. We had Sarah, who whose main role of her job is to raise awareness and raise money and everything for the hospice. And then we also had the CEO, just by chance, walk past, she was going out to lunch. The CEO of the Martlets Hospice walked past and she came over and she stopped and sat down, and took the time out of her day to explain from her point of view, the CEO, why it's such an important thing to have in our community and how they're helping so many people. And for me, who's lived in Brighton since I was three years old, yeah, we're so lucky as people who live in Brighton Hove to have the Martlets Hospice there for us. And um, I just wanted to, I'm not, I'm really, really not going to be able to speak about everything in this video because I was there for like well over an hour and we spoke about so much stuff in so much detail that I wouldn't possibly be able to even get all the facts and the things right. But what I do want to say in this video now is number one, they are absolutely crushing it. Like they are doing an amazing job helping out so many individuals and not just those who who have a life-threatening illness but also those around them their whole network their mums their dads their brothers their sisters their aunties their cousins their girlfriends their boyfriends their partners the hospice itself really looks after everybody i don't really know how to explain but when somebody is told that they've got a life-shortening condition it doesn't just affect that person, it affects everyone, their whole network around them. And that's really, really what the Martlets focus on. They focus on helping everybody, not just the individual. Whether that's the on-site salon that they have where they do everybody's hair and nails and make them feel great and confident. Whether that's therapy sessions, just talking to somebody, having somebody there just to talk to and tell them your worries and tell them what you're feeling. Whether that's getting a massage, whether that's getting some acupuncture, whether you're not well enough to physically leave your bed and they go and get the local rabbi to come in and chat to you. Or the local priest, they get to come in and chat to you. They can, they can do all these kind of things and it was mind-blowing like there was a couple of stories that they told me that really really stood out about just things that make just going far beyond the typical care that you would assume would come if you were staying in a hospice for example a little boy who who had to stay at the hospice and he was super sad that his pet goldfish would be left at home so they brought his goldfish into the room first settled the goldfish in made sure he loved everything that was going on and then when the little boy came in his goldfish was already living there and was already happy or there was one person who hadn't managed to see their horse because they weren't well enough to go to the stables and go and see their horse. So they got their horse brought to the gardens and every single room, every single bedroom backs onto the gardens and they got their horse to come onto the land, onto the gardens so that they could open their doors from their room and have their horse there for them. 
Yo, like the craziest stuff, guys. But I'm just going to keep this quite short because I know that talking about this kind of thing isn't for everybody. But going there showed me, if anything, if I took all of the amazing things that they've got, that they're doing, out of the picture, the one thing that going there showed me is that being at the Martyrs Hospice is not a sad place to be. They've made it such a happy, positive place to be. This isn't a place to die. This is not, that's not what it's about. This is not creating a place for people to pass away. This is creating a place where people can live to their absolute fullest for the life that they've got left. It's a fact that all of us are gonna pass away one day. That is like, kind of in life, the only one thing that we do know. That's gonna happen. That's a, like some people don't like to talk about it, but someday that will happen. That will happen to all of us. And some of us live longer than others. And some people are told that they have a condition that could affect the length that they've got left to live. And it's in those moments that the Martlets really, really steps in, helps pick those people back up and helps them enjoy the life that they have got left. It's not about, it's not, it was amazing. Like it was such a positive, happy, vibrant place, which if you're, if you're on the outside, you would assume that it's gonna be super sad. These, these people that are often visiting there and that are staying there, are going through incredibly, incredibly tough times that you wouldn't even be able to contemplate. But the Martlets are helping them make the absolute most of their life. It's about living the life that we've currently got to the absolute fullest, because it is a fact that one day, all of us are gonna pass away. And the Martlets doing a bloody amazing job. A creator, I thought I was gonna film the full tour and show you guys around and show you the rooms and stuff, and I did film bits, but it, didn't feel right putting it online and putting it into this video, so I thought I would just step back, wait a day to process everything that I experienced. And maybe one day in the near future we will go back and I will do a nice little tour and I'll show you guys around and I can go into a little private room and have a chat with some of the members of staff about what they do and how they do and put it up in this video. And maybe we can get involved and help try and raise awareness or raise money or do some kind of fun stuff. Um, to help out as much as we possibly can because there is no reason why this community that we've got here, why we can't be helping out. We've got so, so much power. There's so many of us that um, I feel we can make, make a big change and I feel like this is something we should, we should for sure, we should for sure help out. Let's get back to, back to the vlog. I'm probably about to go and play racquetball or something. Oh, is that it cheering behind you? <laughs> <laughs> My face. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Why are you saying good morning? Everyone. I've already started my vlog. No, you haven't. Uh, yes, I have. It's four, four o'clock. You don't start till at least six. Good well, morning, good morning, guys. I'm joking. I have started it. Have you? Of course, I have. I've been to the gym, Girls Bakery, and to the Martlets. Well, you didn't get me nothing from Girls Bakery. You didn't did take me to the gym. <laughs> oh, like you would come to the gym with me. Are you mad? You've been gymming for one week. Did you? Oh, I've been gymming for six weeks, did nearly. You you did you? Did you or did you not work out this morning? Whose fault was that? Yours. No. Poppy is meant to be working out this morning at 6.30 a.m. And just somehow didn't manage to work out, did you? Just somehow didn't. Blaming it on my cousin Izzy for cancelling. You can still work out by yourself. No, I couldn't. Yeah, you can. We were doing all paired stuff. No, you... <laughs> there was, was, there was no paired stuff. No, there wasn't. It was no, paired. it wasn't. No. I had to give her piggy back, then she had to give me piggy back. <laughs> Sean's eating pizza. Sean's eating pizza. Sean's eating it, Pop. I'm eating it as well. Sean, you eating? <gasps> Pop, oh let him do what he God. wants in life. Shut Don't up. judge him. He can do whatever he wants. Exactly, he can do whatever. But he's, he's lost the challenge. I've had to, I've had to switch and vlog oh on a God. massive camera. Look at Sean's ISO and don't laugh. 3,000! Bud ducks! 3,000! I've had to switch and vlog on this because my camera, my vlog camera has broken for the 52nd thousandth time. They just break all the time, so I'm currently super blue in it. 
at the moment. So I'm currently vlogging on a big old boy, a big camera. This is the size of the camera that I'm currently vlogging on. Have you done it? Sean and Poppy are over here. They're about to film a super exciting video. I can't tell you guys what it is, but it needs it needs Zoe's help. That's all I'm gonna say. What camera is that? <laughs> my big camera. <laughs> Although it's not actually my big big it's camera. Documentary. It's not my big camera. Do you know why? Tell everyone why. Come on. I don't know what camera you're talking about. Yes, you do. What's happened with my big one? Nothing, I've got an e-commerce. No. <laughs> I let Poppy, somehow, since getting back from New York, she hasn't, she hasn't given it back to me. She's stolen it. Zoe is the camera woman. You're the camera woman, Zoe. I know, I hope I do you proud. But you're also the camera woman for my vlog the other day. I think oh, I actually prefer to be behind the camera in front. Why don't you stop being in front? I've become so self-conscious. Why? <laughs> Everyone thinks that we're breaking up because I'm not in your videos. No, they don't. I haven't seen one comment about that at all. <laughs> don't start. Everything, yeah, now you're starting the rumours. Psycho bitch, who cares? <laughs> everyone you knows you're a psycho bitch. bitch. It's not a thing, they know. <laughs> Sean is obsessed with the fidget spinner. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck, bro. I'm like your little makeup artist. Good luck. Oh, you're not doing the makeup? Oh. This is on you. Do you know why Zoe's doing all of this? Is this what the what? life of a YouTuber is like? No, do you know why? Because then in the description, she gets credited for camera woman, director, makeup artist. She gets so many different links. I'm going to do that now. For doing all the different jobs. I'm going to do that. Just to Lighting. How you doing, Missy? You having a tough day? Busy day? Busy day of sleeping. Give me some respect. Do you have more? <laughs> she ran away. She ran away from you. Because she wants something. No, you don't even know where any. She comes to. Well, because you don't even know where her. Who she comes to. You've got her in your hand. Now we both call her at the same time. No, you're next. I'll stand over here. Three. No, no, come in. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Come here. Come in there, let's get a treat. Let's get a treat, Nala. Come in then. Come on. Zoe! No! That is cheating. That's such cheating. Mummy didn't even give you one. Come here. Look what Daddy's got. No, I've got one. Get her one. There we go. No. She went to you. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, laying what? on my sofa. What do you mean your sofa? It's mine. No, it is not. <laughs> no, it is not. And the camera. <laughs> and the no, the so guys, Poppy and Sean. Can I say that you're moving soon? Yeah. Yeah. Poppy and Sean are moving soon, and. I don't know how, but Poppy somehow has managed to persuade me to let them have this sofa. Because you don't use it. I mean... So you can have mine. But look how much bigger and more comfortable mine is. The cushions come with it. No, the cushions you have to... The cushions you have to rent. Yeah, they do. No, the cushions you have to rent off of me. The sofa's free, the cushions are £100 each a month. <laughs> The green ones are 150. Yeah. Poppy, yeah, the green are more. Poppy and Sean are moving soon. I love and them. And they persuaded me that um, to let them to let them have this sofa. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why I said yes. I'm just a nice brother, you know. One. Wow. Everybody quiet on set. Thank you. <laughs> you turned it off. No, it's not off. recorded. You turned the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> We've just arrived and one thing I didn't tell you is that Acer and I bought new rackets. I'm so excited and One thing we have got if I can open it eye protection. That's what I'm talking about <laughs> We got goggles. Wait, there we go. It's got the goggles on so we can't get hit in the face I'm gonna put you guys in the corner whilst we're playing. Hopefully I don't hit the That was good. Come to get some fish and chips. Boy, he's going in. Yeah. I had a jumbo sausage. I've got the jumbo sausage, you want another one? No. Oh no, sorry, just one. 
I like my uh, uh, regular fries. Yeah. Chips. What? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Look at the size of that. Jeez. You are not even ready for this food. Mm. Oh my gosh. We're back on the other camera now. I just got home and I kind of picked up a blooming big fish and chips. Dropped Acer off as well home now. Had such a good time. Sweat it. I need a shower so bad. Sweating out playing racquetball. And I, um, yeah, I just went to a place called Wolfie's as you saw, which is like the number one go-to fish and chip shop. Like if you live in right in the Hove, guys, it's by right next to Hove Station. I can't even describe like how good it is. We've got burger sauce, mushy peas, curry sauce, three jumbo sausages, a fish cake, 10 chicken nuggets, and chips. I said to the woman, I said to the girl who was serving me, I was like, is that enough for two people? And she was like, yeah, yeah that, that's definitely enough for two people. She was like, don't worry, you can trust me, that is enough for two people. I was like, okay, good, good, good. I wanna try this. Just woken up on the sofa. Do you know what the time is? Mm -mm. I literally have no idea what the time is. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. It's only half 11. Half past 11? Mm. I thought it was going to be like four in the morning. Oh my God. It's so hot in here. So hot in here. Because you shut the door as well. We both fell asleep under the duvet. It's a massive thick furry blanket. Just before the video ends, I've got one more thing that I forgot to say. Completely forgot to put this in. You know I showed you these. This is the pointless book one. This is the pointless book two. They've all been like rebranded. So it's still the same book inside. I showed you this in a vlog a couple of weeks ago. But we've basically got new front covers for them. This is number one. That is number two. Where's the old ones to show you? This is an old number one. So that's what number one looks like. That's the new number one. These are now on sale. Like they've just gone on sale right now. Number one and number two, the rebranded version. So go check them out. Go find them on the internet. I'll try and leave some links down below. Knowing me, I'll probably I'll probably forget to leave links down below. But you you guys know where to find them. You know the internet. You know how it works. Points book one, points book two is now on sale, looking like this. You can probably go to a shop as well and just pick them up. Just looking like this. It looks sick, it looks so cool. And then when you put them next to each other, on the edge you've got that, and then the new book, gonna sit there. And on that note of the new book, just before I go, I'm allowed to tell you now when it is available to pre-order. As I told you as well a couple of weeks ago when I announced the book, I didn't want it to go on pre-order way before the book had even been finished. Like. I find it weird how early books go on pre-order. I don't know, like for me, like imagine if I bought this juice and I had to give my money three months in advance. They're like, oh, do you want that green juice, Alfie? Give us six pounds or whatever stupid amount of money this cost. That's nearly the price of one of my books. Jeez, I got ripped off. Anyways, this juice, this juice. Imagine if I had to, imagine if I had to pay for this juice like four months in advance. Nobody wants that. So I put the book on pre-order as late as I possibly can, which is, just looking at my laptop, the eight, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. I've just got it in my diary, so I'm just saying it. The 18th of May, my book is gonna be available to pre-order, the third pointless book from the 18th of May. So put it in your diaries, put a reminder on your phone, do whatever you wanna do. The 18th of May, it's gonna be ready. It's gonna be ready to pre-order. If that's not exciting, then I don't know what is. My green juice? Nah, that's not exciting. Anyways. Anyways, just thought I'd let you know. The 18th of May, get ready, and um, these guys are both available now in shops, online, wherever. Goodbye. I